Hey, let's talk about the trick on how to master any, that's right, any parking maneuver in a big tractor trailer. Now, if you've never driven a big tractor trailer like this before, it's a lot harder than it sounds when it comes to backing that baby up. Now, if you think about it, the overall vehicle at its max can be about 75 feet long. That's right, the trailer itself can be about 53 feet long. So that's a huge amount of vehicle that you're going to have to maneuver fo both forwards and backwards. But I'm going to give you the one trick that you're going to need to know in order to make sure that any maneuver is accomplished and in the safest amount possible. Because trying to get a truck and a trailer in between two small little trailer spaces or a small space and damaging all your truck and trailer and the truck and trailers next to you is not going to be worth it, right? You want to make sure that you are able to actually get that vehicle in the proper spot without causing any damage because it's going to make you a lot more money in the long run. So the simple answer is going to be get out and look. And when I'm talking about this, it's almost like for my carpenter friends out there, measure twice, cut once. So what does that mean? That means that you're actually going to make sure if you do not know what's going on, make sure you're getting out of the vehicle, put it in park, and make sure you survey the entire area. Are there any low hanging trees? How much space are you going to have on each side of the vehicle? Does the road have any hills or anything that's going to cause your trailer to lean one way or the other? I mean, we had one example where a trailer has been inside of this uh, yard for a long time, and all of a sudden I started to pull the trailer out. And I didn't really inspect the whole vehicle, so what wound up happening is on one side of the trailer, on the driver's side, there was actually a big bump, a big hill on the actual road. And it was super close to the trailer next to it. So I started to pull out, and all of a sudden the trailer started to lean over to the side because the wheels started going over the, over the bump. So all of a sudden it started hitting and touching the actual trailer next to it. I'm like, oh my god, what did I just do? I didn't follow the main rule, which was get out and look and assess the situation. So it was a whole big thing that we had to kind of do, move that other trailer around, find the key, take some things apart because I couldn't move back anymore. And we eventually got it out with no damage, but it took maybe an hour to two hours to actually do that, which should have just been like a five minute job if I just would have inspected the entire vehicle and making sure that I got out to look right. When it comes to actual maneuvering a trailer and backing a trailer up, if you get out and look, then eventually you're able to kind of make sure that you get yourself in the spot as long as you have the good foundational skills of knowing how to maneuver the vehicle. Now to get that, you're going to definitely want to come to the best truck driving school in the entire country where we actually show you exactly how to maneuver vehicles. We have trailers that are smaller, trailers that are longer because our job is to make sure that you're learning how to actually drive a tractor trailer not just make sure you pass a test and one specific size of vehicle. The smaller the trailer it is, the more, the faster that trailer is going to move, which means the more skill set you're going to need to actually have. The longer the trailer is, that means it's going to move less, which means you can actually be a lot more relaxed and not make as dramatic changes on the trailer itself. But if you were to keep things simple, and just to kind of give you a brief overview, when you're backing up a tractor trailer, if you want the trailer to go to the right, you're going to have to turn left. If you want the trailer to go left, you're going to have to turn right. I know it kind of, we have to rewire your brain a little bit and we have a whole process that's actually going to guide you through that and by the, by the time you're kind of doing it two or three days, you're going to be a natural at it. But you are going to see there is going to be symptoms where you start driving your car, you start backing up, you want to back up your car right and then all of a sudden you're going to start going left and you go, oh shit, I'm not driving a trailer anymore. I got to turn the other way, right? So it's definitely something to keep in mind and we'll guide you through that whole process. But the main thing that you do have to understand is get out and look, don't be like me, don't get lazy and making sure that you are getting out to look. Look at the ground, look at the sides, look all over the place and make your plan before it actually happens. And if you ever get in trouble, stop before you hit something, get out and look. And if you can't see, what do you gotta do? Get out and look. And if you wanna go right with the trailer, what do you have to do? Make sure you turn left. If you wanna go left with the trailer, what do you have to do? You wanna go right, it's pretty simple. If you want more instructions and you want more hands-on training, come on down to the school, check out our website for more information, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.